I'm Stephen Tresser. I'm a neurosurgeon at Florida Orthopedic Institute. I've been in practice for 25 years here in Tampa. Low back pain is a very frequent uh, you know, complaint for patients who, who come to, to come to our practice. Um, it's a common complaint in, in, in our country. Many people suffer from it and um, uh, there's an often unrecognized uh, source of that which is sacroiliac joint dysfunction. The sacroiliac joint is how the spine essentially connects to the pelvis. And that joint is not a joint that moves very much. In my practice, probably about 15% of the patients who have low back pain um, may have sacroiliac joint dysfunction and this can be seen for a variety of reasons including people who have had prior lumbar fusions or traumatic causes. People with sacroiliac joint dysfunction uh, frequently have pain not just in their lower back, it can also be in their groin, around their hip, and, and even in their upper part of their thigh. Um, they frequently complain of pain with certain activities such as sitting or getting up from sitting, lying on one side, climbing stairs, anything that kind of stress, that does stress their pelvis. The way that this can be diagnosed, it's really not through imaging uh, testing, it's really more based on the patient's symptoms and clinical examination, as well as diagnostic injection. So first of all, the patient's uh, pain has to be in a typical location. Patients can frequently literally put their finger on where their, where their pain is. Um, and then there's a series of provocative tests that we do in the office to try to elicit pain by stressing the joint, essentially like five or six different maneuvers that we can do. And if, we're, if a certain number of them are positive, then that gives us an inclination that this is what, what is actually going on. Um, what I do then next is subject them to a, uh, a diagnostic injection where we inject a local anesthetic into the uh, SI joint and see if it temporarily relieves their symptoms. And if so, then they would be a candidate for, for uh, a sacred iliac fusion. If we'd identify a patient as having uh, SI joint pain, then treatment options, you know, we typically start with anti-inflammatory medications and physical therapy. The reality is most of the patients have already had that long before they've come to us. Uh, radiofrequency ablation of the nerves within the joint can be done. Uh, the success rate, in, in my opinion, isn't, isn't that great, but for some people it's a good option. Um, I typically uh, will recommend a, a percutaneous sacred iliac fusion. It's a minimally invasive procedure done through a small incision that's approximately an you know, inch and a half, two inches long. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes or less to perform the procedure, usually done in an ambulatory surgery in, uh, setting, and the, and the patients uh, go home that day. I think the difficulty with, with sacred iliac joint dysfunction is, is identifying the right patient. Uh, the, to, to do the procedure on, but if you do that correctly, then the results are, are uniform and gratifying. Most people do extremely well with the procedure. If, you've, if you suffer from low back pain and think that sacroiliac joint dysfunction could be the cause, please call and make an appointment to be evaluated.